What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? Let's go ahead and jump in for the daily increase for the sign of Sagittarius. All right, so this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house placement. Very significant messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, these are general messages. So please just take the pieces that resonate for you and bless someone else with the rest. All right, Sagittarius, let's dive in and see what is the overall theme of the day for you. Guys, I hope that this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Not going to lie, I kind of got distracted and threw off because the card that I pulled out and checked was the Lovers, which was a 42 card, which breaks down to be the 6, which is the typical Lovers card. So I feel like that there's a major choice like this is surrounding a major choice or this could actually have to do with some type of romantic union of such. Thank you, Spirit. All that glitters isn't gold and there is a need to go by the book here. So something isn't quite as it appears. And because it isn't um, appearing the way that it really is, there's a need to really stick to some structure here, really set some boundaries and stick to them and really go by the book here. There's a reading that I did. I'm, I really don't remember the name. Hopefully, by the time that this video is over, Spirit will drop it into me. But I did a reading. And in the reading, I, I remember saying something about your trait was to dim your light, whereas this other person's trait was to ex ex exaggerate their, li their light. And because neither one of the two of you all are being authentic to the energy, there's something about that in this. Um, because that's literally what I just heard playing through. So there's something about that reading that is going to help you understand what's going on in this reading or vice versa. Not sure. But we do have an 11 card and a 16 card. So that's 11. It's a master number. You don't really break those down. 16 is, it does break down to seven. That's all about a reassessment, a realigning. And the reason that there's a reassessment needed here is because something has, there's a mask. There's a mask. So we have go the distance at the bottom of the deck and observer. So something, and I felt that the mending card is the third card back. Um, I definitely feel like that something is like, I feel like that what's actually not being seen is that, I don't know, I feel like that something does get an opportunity to be worked out. But if you don't stand to some sort of standard, then I feel like that that creates a recipe for disaster here. So let's jump in and see what this is, Sage. This message is coming through pretty strong, too. All right, Spirit. So what's going on for Sagittarius today? There's a lot of willpower needed today. That third, that third chakra is definitely being called on. Um, that's all about your personal power and purpose here. Your confidence, joyfulness, ambitious, optimistic. Um, you may be struggling with low self-esteem, perfectionism, criticism, um, over over analytical, and feeling powerless. All right, Spirit. So what's going on in here for Sagittarius today? Truth has been spoken up until this point. But the situation also is, this is letting me know that today there's going to be a lot of truth and clarity coming in. Some of these truths may not be easy to digest, Sagittarius.
the devil card. The opportunity is the devil card. So I feel like that there is an opportunity to reclaim your personal power. Um, I, d I definitely feel like that you're there. There's an opportunity to walk away from some um, old ways of being, some toxic attachments, um, some addictions. There's an opportunity there. I do feel like that there is some type of light being shed on either your toxic ways, someone else's toxic ways. There's light being shed on a Capricorn, whatever the case or the, whatever the case may be. There's a light being shed on something that is no good for you because it has you feeling powerless. Okay. The challenge here is the queen of wands. Um, so there could be an Aries or a Pisces that's presenting a challenge here. This could also just be this um, bitterness, uh, this jealousy. Uh, what's the way through this? The nine of cups is the way through this. And, you know, honestly, Sagittarius, one, this is telling me that this situation here, it, it, it's not giving you what you worthy of feeding into whatever this is. It's not worthy of who you are because you, the way through this is the Nine of Cups. That's that wish fulfillment. That's that um, wish granted card. Fulfilled, satisfied. I feel like that there is a need for Sagittarius to really count your blessings. There's a need to. There's a need to step into this joyful. Um, mentality. Like that's the mentality that I do feel like is needed to navigate whatever this situation is for you today, Sag. I do feel like that your truth and clarity is coming through. It's going to cause you to walk away from some things. Not going to be easy, um, but it is going to set the ball in motion for you to walk away from some things. Um, and I feel like that it could make you very jealous. It, feel, it could make you feel very revengeful. Give me just one more message. All right, guys. Um, but yeah, and you know, uh, where was we at? The Queen of Wands. So, and you know, it also, it also really does identify and where people's tempers are getting the best of them. This queen of wands and the challenging position is very hot tempered, very temperamental. Um, so that, that kind of energy, it is presenting a challenge here from one side or both. Um, but the way through this challenge is to step into this feeling satisfied but there is there is a requirement for you to walk away from something and that's this burden here you know what I'm saying I do feel like that there could be some type of heavy I don't know just just took it taking on a lot taking on more than you possibly should have or whatever the case moving things on really fast and that alone and in its of itself put on a lot extra burdens for you and so now this is that energy of I got to I got to take some step backwards in order to get some progress made. So I do have to walk. I got to look at what I'm holding on to walk, uh, discard some of this stuff, lighten my load so that I can then proceed forward with success here, Sag. And there's something very significant about, um, a, a connection coming in, but you do have to hang tight for it. I'm not going to lie, Sag. We got the three of wands, four of pentacles to the four of wands. I definitely feel like that something stable and solid and some type of strong sacred union is coming in for you. But there's something about you just having it like three of wands really does talk about patience. There's still some things that have to be done here on the homeland before something new can settle in on the homeland. That's what I'm getting there. So let's see, Sagittarius, how this is relating to your money and career portions. If you're still with me and resonating at this time, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Um, it does help spread the word to other Sagittarians in need, but it also helps um, leave me some feedback as well. Um, 
I appreciate all of the new subscribers. You guys are uplifting my numbers and my spirits. So welcome to the channel. I hope that you're able to find guidance that helps you along on your journey. Um, as that was the intention when creating the Manjula Awakening, guys. All right, Spirit, what are the money and career messages for Sagittarius? Thank you. So we have Entrepreneur as well as a uh, cryptocurrency and um we have job loss and yeah there's definitely something here about some uh a change in employment here for sure there's definitely something about a change in employment um so with cryptocurrency and entrepreneur coming out the way that they did wow new asset i do feel like here's the deal sag this is a message for Sagittarius that is working in the corporate or not just necessarily corporate, but is working in the quote unquote matrix, um, the workforce. Um, I do feel like that there could be some sort of job loss there. OK, um, I feel like what this is doing for you, because I also feel like that. You're going to resonate with this is if you've either already started your own business as like a little side hustle or if you desire to start your own side hustle or own business, but your current nine to five doesn't afford the time for it or you can't figure out how to for, uh, fit it in. And I feel like that that typical nine to five or that workforce job is going to come to an end. But I feel like that spirit is asking you to put that energy into your new business and not from this place of lack, but from a place of faith that growth is inevitable. Um, because with the new asset at the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel like that it's like you go from being extremely without to being able to buy what it is that you truly desire. Okay. Like I'm not going to, I'm not saying you might, I'm not saying you're going to be a millionaire, but I'm not saying you're not going to be a millionaire. I'm saying that you're going to be able to afford things that you truly desire. If you, um, don't take on that negative energy of this potential termination of employment. And instead you put that in you transmute that energy and put it into your own business. That's what I'm feeling. And with cryptocurrency being here, I really do feel the need to say like, do an evaluation of your money. Is it all in the same place? Is it broken down? Is if it's broken down, When's the last time you done a check-in on it? There's something that needs to be checked out here with cryptocurrency. Let's actually see what that is. You know. Your need for revenge could cause you to not set free because you and the devil are making a straight eye contact. The not, oh, see the nine of cups. Nine of cups is, is the way through the challenge. So this is telling me that focus on what it is that you truly desire. Don't go wasting your money. Don't go wasting your money. The nine of cups. There's something about your finances that will take an increase, but it's once you go after your true heart, your true heart's desires going to lead you to some type of wish fulfillment, some type of uh, like abundance. Wish the 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 nine of cups is wish fulfillment, is satisfaction. Some sort of accomplishment happening here in cryptocurrency too. Seven of Pentacles. The hard work is going to pay off here. Okay. 
it, it, it may not be fast. There may be some delays to it. So um, keep that in mind. Okay. Let's look at Sagittarius's blessing for the day. Actually, Spirit is telling me to get a goddess, gods, and guardians. Guard. Let's see what God, guardian, and guard, uh, or guardian is meeting us today. Um, typically don't do this on the daily increases, but I'm feeling called to do it. All right, Spirit. Who is assisting Sagittarius through this day, Spirit? Oh, that's quite a bit. Um, so there's something to do with sacred medicine, sweet success, and spiritual transformation. Um, you know, I, I feel like that th there's there's something about your spiritual healing energy. There's something about your spiritual energy that is getting some type of elevation here. There is a major, massive transformation. When we see Kalima, uh, Kalima uh, enter into the energy, then there is a massive, not nothing small. This is like death card massive, except this like ma death card multiplied massive change um, coming in. And this is going to bring in success for you. That's as the transformation is taking place, it may be uncomfortable, but you do, it, it's, it's kind of with this sacred medicine card, I'm kind of getting our, um, well, that Chiron energy, the wounded warrior energy is really what I'm getting here. Um, so it's like um, you have the key, you have the medicine when it comes to other people, but it's hard to apply um, this to one's own wound. And I do feel like that there's something shifting that is going to make the, um, the, the dynamic of the situation is going to inadvertently put the medicine into you to allow the transformation. Like you're actually going to receive your own healing to allow transformation to happen with three, three, these three, this is two goddesses and one God. So there's definitely a massive um, energy here with you today, Sagittarius. I'm with it. I'm with it. So what is, yeah, look at that. What was at the bottom of the deck? Divine guidance. Absolutely. Look, divine guidance. Yes. All right, Spirit. What is Sagittarius's blessing of the day? It's like this, these energies are putting sacred boundaries around you right now. And it's like that job is outside of that boundary. So don't, don't hold too tight to it. Yeah, it might not feel good as it's exiting out of your energy. Um, but back to this devil energy, what, you know, um, I smoke cigarettes, but I put them down many a times. And, you know, it's the best thing to do is to put it down. But it doesn't mean that that first three days isn't shitty, right? It's the exiting. It's the pulling the excess out of your energetic space. It may not feel good, Sagittarius, but it is through divine, it is through divine intervention, divine guidance here. And it could have to do in the matters of love here. Could have to do in the matters of heart. However, this is hearing your blessing for the day. So there is something to do with love that is happening today. There's like resilience. Okay, so love does, there's something to do with the matters of your heart that is able to overcome an obstacle, overcome a hurdle. And I feel like that it's through overcoming this hurdle, it's overcoming this obstacle that a blessing is really truly illuminated. But there, there is a need to take caution here. But there is unlimited potential. So this is almost how you're going to show up determines where this is going to go, Sag. Let's get a little bit of clarification on why this heart and love is in the smells of the heart. Why is heart here for matters 
or for the blessing spirit. Why is this here? There is progress here. There's some sort of accomplishment. This is happening here. There is some sort of accomplishment that is happening as your blessing here um, in the matters of the heart. The nine of wands in the reverse. The four of cups in the reverse. I do feel like that someone is... Um, it's like an area where you possibly have given up. Like the nine of wands in the reverse is... Guards coming down is what I just heard. The Nine of Wands can be very guarded like energy. Um, there could have been a situation where you was afraid to like you like you may have wanted to go down this path. But it was like once you got going down the path, you realized how dark it was. So it's like you kind of like, I don't want to go any farther on this. And so you kind of closed off. I feel like that there could be a blessing or this could be what happened to you. The blessing could be like that something actually. Fuck it. Let me just explore. Let me just see. Just see. Let me just see. Because the four of cups in the reverse it really is about taking it's it's an, it's about not being depressed and apathetic about what you see in front of you but instead going after the opportunities that aren't necessarily in like aren't tangible you have to put in a little work for them but you're still going to seize that opportunity because it's better than sitting here being sad over your present reality right so i feel like that in the matter, like the blessing for the day is that in the matters of heart, of the heart, I do feel like that that a situation where you probably once wasn't willing to walk down that quote unquote dark alley, then I feel like I do feel like that it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The seven of swords is in the reverse. I do. And I feel like that by doing so, you're able to gain some clarity. I do feel like that um, it's like it, it allows for some type of confession. It, it allows for some truth to be revealed in and like not in a not a deceitful way. OK. Yeah, page of so I mean the page of pentacles. I do feel like that you're able to learn something and, and, and it allows you to be able to move forward and to do something with it instead of just sitting there and being hurt in that energy. So that is coming up as a blessing for the day. So let's go ahead and move forward. And it could have to do with the Leo or Cancer, or it could just have to do with um some sort of vision that you've had where this could help jumpstart and actually allow you to begin to take action on a vision that you truly have. Okay, Sag? Let's jump into the yes, no portion of this. Um, <clears throat> Take a deep breath in for me, Sag, and release that energy. Get in tune with your spirit team so that we can get accurate answers here. All right. Thank you, spirit. So it says this situation will improve abundance and peaceful resolution. All right, Sag. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then there, there's going to be a need for a compromise here, okay? Now, let's see how this story is relating to love for Sagittarius. But what is the message of love for the sign of Sagittarius here? I want to see all the cards. What about? There we go. All right, Spirit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is the message of love here for Sagittarius that will help Sag increase their day? 
Okay. So we have go slow with patience, obstacles, strictly sexual, and apology. Um, you know, I do feel like uh for Everything here is unfolding as it's meant to unfold. Everything is unfolding in divine timing here. There are some unhealed wounds that are being addressed. I feel like that as these unhealed wounds are being addressed and identified, I do feel like that there is there's the opportunity. It's not just to call one out on one shit or anything like that, but it is presenting the opportunity for these wounds to be addressed so that they could be properly medicated so that one can properly move forward, right? Um, so nothing is happening to you and everything is happening for you in this energy. However, in the matters of love, I do feel like that a wound was opened, a, like, a, an, like a wound that was unknown to the person with the wound or the person that opened the fucking wound. I feel like a wound was open and, and uh, you know, it, it whatever was expressed in that wound, it had its infection in it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that something could have happened because as a re, as a result, as an effect of that wound being open and it could have been some type of sexual encounter or another. I do feel like that you will receive an apology for this. Like I don't like I feel like that this person will come back around. Um, I just, you know, that's what it is that you do from there, Sag. That's on you. I do see the challenges is that it is going to ignite some, like it's going to wake up this revengeful like energy. It's going to wake up this um, temp angry energy. It is. It is. But there's a need to go slow with this. There is a need to be patient here. There is a peaceful resolution as it comes to this. There's something about this situation that will improve, Sag. But clarity will be shed on something that could have happened that was just strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but um, not enduring. Why is this here, Spirit? Why is this truly here? Thank you, Spirit. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Six of Wands, I do. I feel like that someone went to get an ego boost. I do. Uh-huh. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the upright is this faithful like energy. This is that energy. I'm going to fight for this. You know, I'm going to stand my ground in the reverse. It's like someone doesn't have faith in what it is that they were going for. So there was some unfaith. I do feel like that there was major unfaithfulness here. I, I feel like someone went to get an ego boost. Hmm. What's this obstacle here, spirit? The Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Death card. Um, see, someone's not putting in the proper work on their confidence. There's a confidence issue today that was at the beginning of the read. That solar plexus chakra is in, like that solar plexus chakra is in question today, Sag. Hmm. 
There has to be some type of transformation to take place because it, without this confidence in one way or another, and like I said, this could be both of you all struggling with this. It doesn't have to just be one party. And as strong as it is, it doesn't feel like it's one party, to be honest. But I do feel like that it's causing some unwise decisions. It's like, this lack of confidence is not allowing people to see have the foresight. It's it's fucking up the foresight here. Let's look at this apology here. You can expect to hear the apology you want to hear. They must not want me to clarify. Apology. There we go. We have priestess. Um, you have to listen to your intuition. I feel like that you already intuitively know it. Um, you already know it. Let's move forward. Let's get a closing message, spirit. Spirit is telling me to use this deck. Yeah, win-win outcome is forecast here. Let me just get the running forward advice from here, and then we'll get our typical closing message deck. Running a little long, I know, but... Mm. All right, Spirit, what's the advice here for Sagittarius? Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back, because nothing is yet set in stone here. This is still... This still can be mended, as we've seen a little while back there. there. There are still some things that can be fixed here. It may not be an all fix, but there's still something that can be fixed here. And I feel like that it's worth fixing it. But in order for you to be able to see this, there is some negativity that still has to be released. And it is time to begin to release this negativity, okay? Yeah, adjustments are required. All right, Spirit, what's the closing message here for Sagittarius? Archangel Michael, what is the message here from a Sagittarius crew? Thank you, Spirit. It's time to make a decision. Um, are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. Did that not wrap itself back around? And at the bottom of the deck, we have have no fear. Don't allow fear to trap you in, to get you trapped into doing something that you would have done in the past that you know you don't like the outcome of doing it that way. Fear is, is a bad motherfucker for doing something like that, Sag. And don't let it grab you by the balls today. If you have set a boundary, stand by that boundary. If fear starts knocking, you look at bitch in the eye and you tell that bitch just like you tell everybody else in your physical, in your physical life. You tell them people what everybody else is afraid to hear. Then you tell fur. What the fuck fur? Thank you not going to tell it. Okay? Don't have it. Don't let fur have you going back in your old ways today, Sagittarius. Fur is a trap of the ego. Allow Archangel Michael to use his sword of light to free, free you from the disquiets and feelings holding you back. And then we also have trust the guidance you are receiving. Somebody needed to hear that. That was somebody's, uh, that was somebody's, somebody loved you that came through and said that. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. Archangel Michael also pre is present to clear away your worries so that you can trust your divine guidance. I love you, Sagittarius. I am sending you bunches of love and light on this day. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sagittarius. I love you.